this is Kathleen Ray for JBRClothing.com and today I wanted to talk about events. The Rockabilly culture really thrives on all different kinds of events. Could be a tattoo convention, um, a big show like Viva Las Vegas, car shows, um, meetups at Disneyland, Comic Cons, anything like that. So today I kind of wanted to talk about different things you can bring with you um, to make your experience go as smoothly as possible. And of course, this is mostly for the ladies, um, so I wanted to show you a few things. Alright ladies, so say you're going to a convention and there's like 50,000 people there. There is no way you're going to walk all the way back to your car for something you forgot. So, I'd recommend bringing a few things with you. I personally, I bring... I mean, event day or not, I usually bring a little touch-up bag. This is my little makeup bag I carry with me every day. So, I bring a little concealer, because you don't want to bring your whole entire, you know, foundation. Lipstick, of course, for all the touch-ups after you eat. Um, if you have really good lipstick, you know, you probably won't need a touch-up, but just in case. Lip liner, liquid eyeliner, eyelash glue, never forget your eyelash glue. <laughs> I've had a really bad experience with that. Um, I now bring it everywhere I go. So eyelash glue, you don't want your eyeballs looking all funky. Um, I personally have allergies, so I bring eye drops for red eyes. The Opconies. So also, you should bring a little compact mirror. I know sometimes you can, some bathrooms or porta potties, they don't have mirrors. Um, also, you could use your smartphone and use the front-facing phone, or the front-facing front camera. Um, sometimes that doesn't really work when you're trying to get really close onto your lip. So let's see. What else could you need during the day? You're at an event all day. You don't want to be bothered by, I forget this, I forget that, my neck is hot, um, my hair is all flying away. So, bobby pins are a great thing to have. Also, maybe some rice paper. Blot, some, blot the oil off your face. No one likes looking shiny. Let's see. So what you can also do is take products that you use every day and you could bring smaller sizes. So what I'm planning to do anyway, here's an old concealer tub, pot. Once it's empty, I'll clean it out and I'll probably throw some of my pomade in there just so I can have, I mean, pomade a little bit goes a long way. Also a ponytail, you never know, hair might go crazy. Say you're at an event and they are selling clothing. Uh, vintage clothing is always weird. They have funky sizing. You never know. I mean, size 12 is really a size 4. Things like that. I recommend bringing a tape measure so you can measure the clothes, measure yourself. Good to have. If you're going to an outdoor event, I always recommend sunscreen. Don't leave the house without sunscreen. Don't go anywhere without sunscreen. Uh, the sun is very harmful to your skin, causes wrinkles and aging and whatnot. So definitely recommend, um, they say, a minimum of SPF 30. Anything higher, it's gonna do, it's gonna do about the same. Um, make sure it's a broad spectrum, the UVA and UVB, or your sunscreen. You can also get like mini sizes, take that with you as well. All right, of course you don't want to bring a big bag, so you'll also need money. You need money. Um, instead of bringing your checkbook and your social security card and, you know, everything that you have, pictures of your kids, <laughs> um, I have a cigarette case um, that I put, you know, my debit card. Sorry. That I put my debit card in, um, some cash. There's usually... ATMs if you need more cash, your ID. Also business cards if you're walking around, if you are an artist. 
bring some business cards. Pass those out. Sunglasses. Very smart to have. Also, if you're outdoors, you can bring an umbrella, a little parasol. I like this one. It's very pretty, very pinup. I've used this many times in different um, pinup pageants. So yeah, I'm definitely not talking about a pinup pageant. This isn't things you need for a pinup pageant. Um, you know, every day you're going to a show. So of course, so like I said, the rockabilly culture thrives on things like car shows, artists, events, pinstripers, tattoo artists, um, hair bow makers, earring makers. You know, support the arts, definitely. If you like some art, you know, buy a print, put it up on your wall, buy the hair flower. You don't wear hair flowers? You can give it to your daughter. Little girls love flowers. You know, buy the CD. If you don't want to buy the CD, give them a dollar. You know, without money, they can't play. They can't bring music to our ears. We can't dance. So, definitely, I support the arts, and I think you should too. All right, so every time you go to an event, you're always going, there's always going to be some sort of schedule or map. Always try to get a hold of one of those right away. You definitely want to plan your day around what kind of things you want to see that day. Um, also, of course, you're going to be taking a lot of pictures, so make sure your phone um, is empty, make sure you have enough storage, and also, definitely, there is a little trick. If you have a phone and you want to save the battery, and all you're going to do with the phone is take pictures, you can put it into airplane mode, and what that does is extend your battery life. Um, you know every once in a while you can turn it off to check your text messages, but it's a little trick right there. Um, also, comfortable shoes. Always wear comfortable shoes. Um, because it's no fun walking around in 4 inch high heels all day for 8 hours and you'll probably just cry. <laughs> so definitely make sure you have some comfortable shoes on or at least bring some with you. Um, you can get some like ballet flats or some saddle shoes that are really cute. You can wear your creepers, your chucks. Um, bait footwear that we have for sale on jbrclothing.com has some really cute wedges. Um, anything with a really chunky heel and a low heel will be a lot better on your feet. So you're welcome and thank me later. <laughs> so you're thinking, Kathleen, how am I going to bring all this stuff you're talking about with me? Well, guess what? In honor of Rock Around the Park, this year is November 9th. So we're at a big old rockabilly meetup at Disneyland. JBR Clothing is doing a giveaway. How do you like a purse? Do you like Minnie Mouse? I like Minnie Mouse. So in honor of Rock Around the Park, we're going to be giving away one lounge fly mini print purse and the matching wallet. All you have to do is go to the Facebook page, JBR Clothing. You'll have to, well, we're gonna have a, a picture, share it, and then tag a friend, and the winner will be announced November 1st. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Um, hopefully you have a few tips and tricks. All right, good luck guys, bye.